my heart beats out of beat because this beating has everything to do with what I've grown accustomed to. The music, the melodies, the courses, the rhythm, the stained glass windows to match the great church entrances, the beautiful feel of the church atmosphere, the nod, the wave, the casual smile, the formal handshake, the one hour on Sundays because Mondays belong to work, school, sports, and everything else. And Saturdays are way too close to Sundays. As if our worship is ran on electricity. Keep it off during the week because our worship bill just might come in too high. As if our worship was only based on singing songs and raising hands when hands and limbs are the price paid by worshipers in other countries because they refuse to renounce their God, our God. As if our worship needed the Cam Newtons to lead us in a play-by-play or the Simons of American Idol or the John Mayers to remind us that the world is waiting or the Jay-Z's to proclaim that Jesus can't save or the Larry Kings and the 60 Minutes to inform us of what's happening in our world. When what's going on in our world should be more information for our ears or conversations at lunch break or Facebook statuses and blogging materials. As if our worship needed great big neon signs to attract the masses or catchy phrases to get our attention. As if our worship needed a crazy turn on investments to convince us of its worth. As if our worship needed stages, microphones, lights, talented musicians to make it authentic. Teach us to worship, Lord. Yeah, come on, let's proclaim it overflow. Overflow. 